You can stop the river as it rushes to the sea. It is absolutely disgusting out, but it was way too loud inside, so. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Hi guys, it's Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a special request from Clador Studio, and we are going to be reacting to Lala Kramarenko. Lala Kramarenko. Excuse me if I am saying that name wrong. And this is a solo from RG Opera. So I have no idea who this dancer is, but I am super excited to react to somebody new. So if you're interested in that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up. But before we hop into Lala's dancing, I just want to say a giant thank you to today's sponsor, New Smile Invisible Aligners. If you would like to save thousands of dollars off of your orthodontic treatment in comparison to getting braces or Invisalign at the orthodontist or the dentist, choose New Smile Invisible Aligners. Your entire case will be overseen and created by an orthodontist and delivered directly to your doorstep. You'll also receive free retainers with your order, and if you use my code SPARKLES at checkout, out or click the link that I've pinned in my comment and the top of the description box depending on which country you live in. You will also save up to $150 off of your order. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out down below or use code SPARKLES at checkout. And thank you again to today's sponsor, New Smile Invisible Aligners. And let's hop right into it. Oh dang, it looks like they have an entire symphony orchestra. Goals. Okay, I immediately was like, wait, is that a grown woman with like that kind of insane mobility? I honestly can't really tell her age, whether she's like 16 or 30, but wow okay what i'm seeing immediately i was like are you a rhythmic gymnast but her feet oh my god she is blessed with banana feet gorgeous arches absolutely beautiful hyperextended ankles gorgeous lines gorgeous mobility her flexibility is absolutely insane we are 23 seconds in and i am blown away by this woman her lines her mobility her fluidity throughout her movement crazy. I have never reacted to a rhythmic gymnast on my channel, so when I see somebody with that kind of hypermobility, I'm like, that is crazy. I'm not sure if Lala is a rhythmic gymnast or if that was her background, but she definitely has that kind of mobility. Let's get back into it. Okay. I'm thinking definitely a rhythmic gymnast by that turn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow, absolutely beautiful. And every time I pause the screen, like seeing her just pressing through her foot, even in like the tiniest little transition out of something, her feet, like, uh, what? Can I borrow those, please? Absolutely blessed by the dance gods. The back layout that she did, and then she held it and transitioned out was absolutely beautiful. The way that she just like rolled to the floor out of the transition out of her after her calypso. Ah, so beautiful. She literally moves like how I would imagine a garden fairy would move if they were real. Like this girl is freaking phenomenal. Let's get back into it. I am so excited. Wow, her feet. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's like Kalani Hilliker when she first came to Dance Moms on crack. 
Like, literally, the mobility and the skill level is absolutely insane. I noticed that there is a difference in the way that she holds her shoulders and uses her arms compared to most classically trained dancers or what I am familiar with here in North America. She carries her port bra and uses her arms in a different way. I don't know if that's something to do with the rhythmic gymnastics background because if she is a rhythmic gymnast, I'm assuming she must be, but I don't have a background in rhythmic gymnastics, so I'm not sure about that, but I know that if you are looking at a North American technical dancer, whether they are a ballet dancer or not, just anybody with technical training, we do not use our arms in that same way. We generally have very precise, carried, distinct pictures to use our arms. The port de bras is definitely a lot more static, except for in certain ballet styles, but I am absolutely loving this. The way that she just like floats around is absolutely insane. That was so freaking impressive. Like, it's so impressive to me when somebody that is that flexible and has that level of hypermobility has that level of control to do those kind of turns. I'm like, wow, freaking flawless. She even walks away on her forced arch demi point showing off those amazing feet. That was absolutely brilliant. I can tell after seeing some close-ups that she is on the younger side of things, but either way, that flexibility and that mobility is insane. That kind of dancing is insane. I'm assuming we will probably see a lot more rhythmic gymnastic inspired tricks in the dance competition circuit as we go forward in time. We are already seeing a lot of that. We are already seeing a lot of acrobatics, Shen Yun style performing arts as well. And definitely we are going to be seeing a lot more Olympic gymnastic tumbling tricks and rhythmic gymnastics tricks and we're seeing those incorporated into figure skating as well it's crazy the level of skill and expertise that all of these physical arts are demanding at this point in time but i am absolutely blown away by that performance round of applause to you lala kramarenko that was absolutely fantastic and again thank you to clador studio for suggesting this video um, they actually requested that I react to this a really long time ago, but <laughs> I just got around to it today. But that was brilliant. Chef's kiss. Absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you guys thought of that down in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions for dances or videos you'd like me to react to, definitely let me know. But I think that that is the end of this video. So if you liked it, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up. You can check me out behind the scenes on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And leave any suggestions there if you want to DM me any dances or links to react to. And they are all at Jordan J. Sparks. If you'd like to check out another video like this one, you can do so right here. And I think that that is it for this video. So as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!